essentials. So yep. we're good to go for today's episode. Got the Corona. Corona. The corona. <laughs> it's perfect time for Corona. <laughs> right? It's still good. It's still good. <laughs> See? <laughs> <laughs> They've actually lost a lot of sales. It's really sad. So it we, was we, my business. we are doing our part in supporting Corona beer. Anyways, welcome back to today's Cook With Us sesh. So today we are feeling the Mexican vibes. Yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> and we are having cravings for Mexican because, like, what's better than Mexican food? I wish they were there eating it now. I mean, so we'll eat it here. If and we could be in Mexico right now, like snap of our fingers. <laughs> yup. Oh. Anyways, so today Vince will be cooking some Mexican inspired shrimp tacos. Yes, shrimp tacos. So um, this is gonna be our first little Mexican sesh. And so stay tuned because we're gonna actually have a lot more. So a fun fact, my dad used to own a Mexican restaurant in the uh, Florida area, like the Tampa area, I believe, in the 70s. So that kind of always inspired me to make Mexican food. And I love it yeah. <laughs> I've been ever since I was a kid. So stay tuned because we are going to be making so much more like Mexican dishes. What do we have? We have like chili, chili rellenos, um, tamales, and yep. oh that's tamales. your dad's secret recipe though. Yeah. Might not be able to say that we one. We might not be yeah. able to. I don't know. We'll see if he'll let us make it. <laughs> you know, having his own restaurant, he had his secret recipes. They're so good. They have, they have pork in them and homemade shells. They're great. They are. Oh, Mexican. That's by far my most favorite food. So, yep. anyways, we should probably get started. Cheers. Let's get started. So here for our fresh ingredients, we have queso fresco cheese, um, crumbled cheese. It's really nice. Just crumbles right apart. We have some cilantro that we put in water to keep it fresh, and a red cabbage, uh, avocado, some garlic for when we cook the shrimp, uh, lime and then our raw shrimp. And then for the sauce we're gonna put on this, we have sriracha, ranch, I'm gonna put some chili powder and paprika in it. Um, mix it in with some sour cream. And then the, the Old Bay seasoning we like for the, to coat the shrimp in before you cook it. Put some of that on there, give it a nice flavor. And corn tortillas. So now we're gonna get our ingredients ready. Start with the garlic. Four cloves for this one. We like garlic. Nice smash. Break them open. Like that. Makes peeling a lot easier. Just smash them real hard. We'll use this for cooking the shrimp and also for the tacos when we're eating them. So now we're going to cut up our cabbage and I like to do long skinny strips of it. So cut it as thin as you can. You don't need a lot, this is for the, the topping. Cut up some fresh cilantro. So just pull a few of these guys out. Now we're gonna crumble up our queso fresco. Just start with a little piece like that, and you don't shred this stuff. You just you just start squishing it with your hands, and it just crumbles apart. This cheese has a nice salty taste to it, so it gives the tacos a nice flavor. That's why I don't really add any extra salt, because this has enough in it. Now we're gonna slice up our avocado. All right, now we're gonna slice them long and thin. So 
So now I'm going to make the sauce that we like to put on top of the tacos. So we're going to take a dollop of daisy. sauce you can leave it like this or if you want to thin it out you can just put a little water in it. I'm gonna add a little water to this to thin it out just a little and you want your consistency to be a little watery see how it drips like that that's perfect okay now we're gonna peel our shrimp we've got raw shell on devein shrimp I don't like to buy the cooked shrimp because I just like it fresh like this. I can cook it how I want to. If you buy cooked shrimp, it's probably already overcooked and then you way overcook it. These are medium sized shrimp, so we're not gonna cut them at all. We're just gonna leave them whole. If you buy larger jumbo shrimp, you probably wanna cut them in half at least. These are small enough that they're just perfect. Now we're gonna rinse the shrimp off. You wanna make sure you use cold water. If you use hot water, you're gonna start cooking them right in there. Delicate. Now we have to dry the shrimp off. Important part, you don't want to put them in with water all over them. Now we'll put our other paper towel all over and look at all that moisture that comes off of those bad boys. And I just kind of like to let them sit, let them soak up that water. All right, now our shrimp is nice and dry. All right, and I just used some peanut oil for this. And some Old Bay seasoning. Heat our pan up. Just put it on kind of medium high. I like to get it nice and hot for this dish. Pan is nice and hot now. Put just a tiny bit of oil in it. And we're going to go in with the garlic. Alright, in with the shrimp. And right away, I like to take a lime peel and bounce it in lime. Yep. And these cook up real fast, so once the, the ends start curling in, once the tails start curling in, they're ready to go. It'll only take a couple minutes. Oh yeah, a little fire. Yeah. All right, see all those are tails are kind of coming together, so that is it. We're done. You do not want to overcook these bad boys. Oh, we have some white corn tortillas here, and what we're going to be doing is we're going to just toast them right on the open flame on the grill. We do have a griddle, but we like the open flame better. It around a little bit and kind of get it even. Flip it over. It's got some nice black ends there. That's good. Doesn't take long, a couple seconds. We always do two layers for each taco, otherwise, they really fall apart easily. Plate them on our hot plates. So, two shells to a plate. 
And I like to start with the avocados on the bottom. Now let's go with the shrimp. Now we're going to go in with our cabbage. Now we're going to go in with the cheese. And now we're going to put our cilantro on. Mm, look at that. Perfect. Now I'm ready to top them with the sauce that we made. Good. I like can just like visually taste them. <laughs> Smell them. They're just amazing. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Let's get these in my belly. Oh yeah. I need to put lime on it. You need the lime in your life. Always put some fresh squeezed lime on your taco. And in your Corona. Yeah. <laughs> Love the black and shells. It looks cool. Yeah. They taste good. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see. Mmm. Mmm. So good. Mm-hmm. You guys. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the lime and the old bay seasoning go together well. Mmm. You get a nice seafood taste, but then you get a nice chili powder from the sauce. Oh, there's just so Perfect. many flavors, but like the avocado, the cabbage. I love the cabbage. The it gets, you get the crunch. Yeah, the crunch. I love the crunch of the cabbage. And you get the corn taste from the corn tortillas. Oh, so good. Mm. Perfect. So some of the best shrimp tacos we've ever had. Well, almost every time we go to Mexico, we have tacos, obviously. All day, every day. Mm -hmm. No, not all day. <laughs> but um, we were in Puerto Vallarta. Uh, last winter and we took the water taxi to Yilapa so we just grabbed an uber from our resort went down to the pier and then grabbed a water taxi and they have water taxis that run all day it's like a 45 minute boat ride yeah beautiful you like go right along the edges of the coast oh so pretty and you get to the town and it's like cobblestone streets and yeah it's just like quiet. there's no cars there's, there's just no cars horse and buggy and four wheelers yeah it's like you're in a different world. It's cool. It's so cool. I love Puerto Vallarta. I love the old Mexico feel of Puerto Vallarta. Like, I guess I'm all about like the culture when I travel. And don't get me wrong, I love like the Riviera Maya and I love Cancun. You got the Caribbean seas and everything on that side, but all of that. You, old, don't the, you don't have a history? Yeah, it's such a newer area of Mexico. So, anyways, back to my story. <laughs> I could go on and on and on about Squirrel. Mexico because we've been there. So. Anyways, um, we went to the Yalapa and we went to an ocean front little restaurant and I had shrimp. Well, you had shrimp tacos too. Mm -hmm. We both got the shrimp tacos and oh my god. They were so good. They are so different. They had like greens all over them. And yeah. Bigger, but so these are like as good. close as we could get to like those shrimp tacos. They were so good. I'm like dreaming of that right now. I wish there was an ocean in front of me. Mm -hmm. mm. All right, you guys, if you go and make this dish, please let me know down in the comments because you will not be disappointed. They're just so good and it's um, easy, it's fast. It's yeah. Weeknight thing. Yep. Yeah. yeah. What is it? It's a Tuesday? No. Wednesday. It's a Wednesday night. <laughs> We're <laughs> filming and making these tacos. With that said, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Comment below if you have any questions for the chef here. <laughs> <laughs> and please be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. I'm trying to post weekly different travel, food, lifestyle type videos, so I don't want you to miss out. So Something new every week. Yeah something new every week. I don't even know what we're going to make next week. We'll figure it out. Ooh, I think we have pizza on the menu. Pizza? So, I... Yeah. Well, I won't say it. It's good. It's a secret. <laughs> it's a secret. <laughs> so, stay tuned. We're making Italian pizza, but there's a twist. Mm -hmm. So 
so good. A Minnesota twist. Well, kind of. Kind of. <laughs> It's <laughs> always a little Minnesota twist in there. So, anyways. But no, but thank you guys so much for watching. We really appreciate you. And we will see you in the next food vlog. Bye, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>